How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a little bit of Homebrew Wednesday. No, it doesn't look like Homebrew, but I assure you it is. Uh, from Everett Brew House. Yeah. This is a Virdi Vlupus. Vlupus? Lupus? Vulpus? Uh, farmhouse Ale. It's an Amarillo Dry Hop Farmhouse Ale. Uh, it was bottled in November 2020, and it comes in at 7.7%. Yeah. My boy Tyler sent off this box of beer. It had two commercial beers in it and a whole heaping amount of homebrew running the gamut of styles um, from kind of weird kooky alco pop kind of stuff to big old burly stouts to all kinds of goodness and uh i believe this is the second one i'm diving into the first one i dived into was an english style old ale without giving up too much it did not suck so hopefully this one is much the same uh beer wise That looks like a farmhouse sale. So you're talking about a farmhouse sale, extra dry hopped. I love when they go with the uh, dry hopped kind of farmhousey jams. And yeah, label wise, it's fantastic. I love the shape of the bottle, little label. Yeah, off to a very good start. Give me nose. It's got this really nice kind of super lemony citrus tart acidic thing going on. I don't think it's going to be overly uh, sour. It's going to be more tart with a touch of acidity, I believe. But it's lemon. It's all the lemon. A very beautiful way in like a very Brett kind of way. And I'm sure that those hops aren't hurting the case. And when you get that slight acidity, it just kind of props it up. Makes it super vibrant. So there's, I'm not going to get much more off of this nose, to be perfectly honest with you, because of how lemon forward. But it's not like it's not like like puckering lemon. There is a sweetness to it, but it really does come off. It reminds me a lot of like a Belgian based yeast on it, as opposed to like an American Vermont based yeast on how this kind of comes off, especially in that kind of sour tart, kind of acidic kind of way. Um, but yeah, it's all the lemon, all the citrus lemon are belong to us. And just beautiful sweetness packed on top of this nice, robust kind of tartness. I mean, the, the, the way that yeast and those hops are working in concert to bring that kind of lemon forward is really, really pretty. So, yeah, I'm just diving in. Cheers. That's delicious. That's ab absolutely delicious. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be in a nose. In a good way, not like me kind of like, oh, I wanted the beer to be this way. It really is kind of that lemon forward. It starts to open up in the taste. There's a lot more to it than just strictly lemon. You're getting a nice kind of peach orchardy skin kind of vibe off of it. You're getting a little bit more kind of sweeter kind of citrus fruits. You're kind of running a gamut of kind of stone fruit versus citrus fruit on this with that lemon kind of leading the way. But again, I'm going to stress it, not in a very kind of acidic kind of way. It's a little bit more tart than anything else, kind of like lemon bars. A bready lemon bar as opposed to straight lemon. Um, there's a nice kind of old ghost of hops past kind of musty um, hoppiness to it, which is quite nice. It's got a beautiful mouthfeel for its style. And then just enough electricity for me. Just enough electricity of sour and tart and combination on the tongue to kind of perk you up, to wake you up, and let you know you're drinking something that, that is, you know, a, you know, mixed culture kind of not sour, but not necessarily a straight across the board kind of beer. It is just a nice, meaningful, purposeful, um, uh, like aggressive without being ostentatious um, kind of uh, kind of beer. And just the way those fruits kind of work from one end to the other from those stone fruits and those citrus fruits playing together. And it has to be a combination of the hops and the actual yeast itself working together. It's quite quite nice. As far as like a Saison yeasty farmhouse kind of thing when it comes to yeast, it's a pretty relatively neutral, a little bit of soft pepper, you know, a little bit of soft spice. And it's nothing too too big. It really is the fruit portion I show on both ends of the spectrum. Again, from those hops and the actual yeast, it really is kind of, kind of the uh, showcase at a very, very beautiful and tasty way it's delicious absolutely delicious i mean this is heartburn beer for me um thank god i'm actually on proper medication now for that so i won't get it but i can feel it i can feel my body going you know what motherfucker if you weren't taking anything right now we'd, we'd toss you over to the side with a little bit of fucking heartburn clutching kind of uh horribleness 
but I kind of like it. Um, yeah, this is delicious. I mean, I'm gonna. This might be a theme. Um, honestly, me saying what I'm about to say in a bunch of home brewer reviews, and I don't know why I feel compelled to say it, but I, 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 I kind of have to because there's been so many hits in a row with homebrew. I start to get a little bit kind of second guessing myself. Am I just being nice for the sake of being nice? I really have to look inward and be like, am I? I should really be kind of picking these beers apart and trying to find faults in them and look at the negative of them. And for the most part, they're just not there to be had. I don't think it's a matter of I'm blind to the to the negative here. I mean, there's no there's no negative sour component to this. There's no kind of off flavor. There's no kind of it's not mediocre. I'm not just saying it's good for the sake of being a perky person and perky conversation because you think of me you think of just happiness and perkiness of course um so yeah i'm just reiterating the fact that this is delicious and that's pulling no punches <laughs> it's fucking delicious i don't know what else you want me to say um i like everything about it um i love the level of acidity that's enough to kind of wake me up but not enough to kind of put me down um the way though that those hops work in pairing with um with that yeast is absolutely beautiful. It's got a beautiful carbonation on it. I'm a fan. So there you go. A little bit of homebrew under on the books. I don't know what else you want me to say. I mean, just it works. It works well, and it's pretty fantastic. I, I see that he had um, another bottle of this. I don't know if it's the same ABV or same beer, maybe dosed a little bit different. Um, but I'm kind of curious driving that one. It was, I believe, it was like plum and cardamom or something like that. But I'm excited to dive into all of them, really. Um, but this is really impressive stuff. To, to, to go old ale to this and then hit those levels, and for me to enjoy them as much as I did personally for myself i'm i'm very very impressed thank you very much tyler for even thinking of me let alone sending some of these suckers off so there you go a little homebrew uh review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you want to send off homebrew you're more than welcome uh you can reach me via email mad at massivebeers.com or massivebeers at gmail.com um for the old uh, social medias uh massive beers type that in see me doing the social media stuff uh podcasting stuff beer massif we're on a hiatus but there's a ton of content there for you to check out so hopefully you guys enjoyed the homebrew review today hopefully you're enjoying some homebrew right now hope we'll see you next time cheers